Well, hey y'all, I'm Matthew. I'm chewing the brew. Today, I'll be enjoying Rogue's 2022 Santa's Private Reserve. So this is a stout with some interesting um, adjuncts, which, well, it's interesting. Uh, it says it has tahini, tangerine, and chocolate flavors. So I'm not sure what all adjuncts they added to it to produce those, but that's what the can claims. I don't always read from the can or the bottle label. I try to experience those things for myself, but the flavors in this are kind of on the interesting side of things. So <laughs> we'll uh, see how they, how they work. Um, I had a friend, hey Jeff, comment that uh, part of what he has appreciated about talking with me is my um, animation. And yeah, there's lots of things that go through my head. You know, when you're recording, you know, I'm talking to a camera, so there's no you know real immediate human feedback as far as what's what's going on and how the person is, how the people on the other side of the camera are responding to it and how I need to adjust myself or my, I tend to be kind of big when I talk. Those who know me in person know that. Um, you know, lots of arm movements, face movements, uh, modulation of the voice, etc. And I try to be, you know, kind of the, um, I don't know, the persona I put on for Chewing the Brew might seem a little more um, professorial, professorial, scholarly. <laughs> And uh, yeah, maybe that's not me. So if I seem a little weird or a little different, um, I suppose the the videos where I've done it with people, like with guests and such, I probably am a bit more animated. So I'm gonna try, I'm trying to be more animated, more, I mean, flamboyant, I guess is a word, just more, more bigger, more me, more who I am as I record these videos. We'll see how that works. Um, yeah, we'll see how that works. Anyways, on to Rogue Distillings, Santa's Private Reserve for 2022. We'll see. First of the uh, holiday beers that I'm recording. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but this is one my wife picked out. She does like Rogue. Rogue has some very, some, some nice kind of flavored beers that, that are hazelnut, hazelnut something. Their hazelnut something is one of my wife's favorite and so she's usually looking for that and she was quite happy that it just came in stock again uh, this week okay um yeah definite dark notes there's kind of a, a mild uh, molasses and um not a super dark chocolate like maybe a 60 a 50 or 60 percent dark chocolate um, bordering on milk, but still to the dark side. Definitely a, a candy bar, kind of a, a candy bar note to this. I wonder if that's the nuttiness of the tahini they're talking about. Like I said, I, I try not to read the labels beforehand because I don't want those, those words in my mind when I'm tasting it. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe I mess things up, but it, it tastes, or it smells like, um, like a candy bar, you know, chocolate, nugget, nuts, those kind of things. Maybe a little bit of coconut. It smells good. I mean, when you're looking for, for a holiday beer, you're looking for something a little more special. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be over the top alcohol by volume, but you want it, the flavors to be something a little more unique, kind of standalone. It's not meant necessarily to pair with any given food type. It's supposed to just go along with the, the general feeling of the season. Um, and so, so rich notes, sweet notes, dark notes, decadent, succulent, um, those are all things you want to see in a holiday beer. And just to the nose, it's got them. Let's see if it has it to the tongue. Oh, mama, it does. Ah, yeah. Um, not a Snickers. This is, this is an almond joy. And I would say that because I'm guessing the tahini probably has more in common flavor-wise with almonds than it does with peanuts. Snickers is a peanut-based candy bar, right? Um, almond joy. So coconut, chocolate, almonds, that kind of stuff. That's, huh, that's good. 
I mean, this isn't a, you know, this isn't an everyday drinker. It's it's much for warm weather, but cold weather, holidays, friends, yeah, this is tasty. Very very little to no bitterness. Um, the chocolate still comes through. It, it it tastes like what it smells like. So it smells like a candy bar. It tastes like a candy bar. Um, it's all there. It's a full package. I like that. That's quite a lot. Quite quite a good thing. Um, I'm not sure I'm picking up any of the citrus notes. The tangerine they say. Uh, I would expect tangerine to maybe be on the uh, the softer side of citrus. Even an orange is more tart than a tangerine. A tangerine is kind of a mild, moderate sweetness. Um, or, or, sorry, a mild, moderate acidity. Very, well, my, yeah, mild, sorry. Stop saying words, Bedford. It is a mild acidity in a tangerine. So it's, it's not really, you're not getting a heavy, like, citrus uh, acidic note. And I'm not even picking up a... A uh, uh, mild acidity to this. No, no tartness. No, no, no real citrus. That might come out more as the beer warms. It being a stout, you can definitely drink it warm. It doesn't have to be chilled from the fridge. You can leave it out on the counter for a little bit. You can take your time finishing the can, as I probably will. <laughs> it's a pretty good beer. I like that. That's tasty. That'd be a good one to keep in the fridge. So this is Rogue Brewing, thanks to my wife. This is Rogue Brewing out of Newport, Oregon. Rogue Newport. Um, this is their 2022 Santa's Private Reserve um, special holiday stout. And uh, it's a good one. This is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>